Hi, this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I've got a lovely little book. It's about 9 inches by 9 inches and it's called Fabulous Flowers, The Gift of Colouring for Grown-Ups. And uh, they've put out quite a few books and you'll see some more of them in these reviews. What I like about this book is that there's a number of different floral images and you can see on some of the pages there's sort of a similarity between the flowers so when you're going through them you can see um, on some of them they look quite similar on the other page there's also some blank spaces on some of the pages and I know some of the colorists they think wow it looks like the picture's not finished but to me those blank spaces have been left there intentionally so that you can add maybe a quote or you could frame it and put a picture in those blank spaces. So to me they're intentional, they're part of the design, but some people might not like that. Now some of the patterns in here I think are a little bit, um, you know, whilst they might be enjoyable to colour, um, they might not be so much fun for a book that's meant to be flowers. So for example there's a whole page of leaves, or there's some types of abstract things. Now other things that some colorists might love and some might hate is that there's quite a lot of solid black throughout the book. You'll see that some lines have already been blacked in and some already have black backgrounds. Now to me when I see the black backgrounds that just screams at me for uh, putting gel pens on those sorts of things but sometimes um, you know pencils can work as well but you have to really look at the contrast on it. Now some colorists, as I said, they might not like the line work being so solid in some respects and they might have wanted to put in their own sort of line work. Um, whilst